said we were getting a pool for our yard. I couldn't wait to jump right in. One, two, three, whee! I got out all my favorite water toys. I found my arm floaties, and some pool noodles, and some dive rings, oh, and a beach ball. After I found all my pool toys, I invited all my friends for a pool party. I knew that this was gonna be the best pool party ever. But it was not big like I thought it would be. It was a small pool. How are we supposed to dive in such a small pool? Or use my big pool float? Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Having a problem with your pool, are you? Yes, Ollie. I was going to have a pool party with my friends, but my pool was too small. Your pool is small. It's true. But you can still choose joy. Who? Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Well, hey there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I just dropped all of these letters. 
I had to pick them all up and now I'm gonna be late delivering the mail. It does make me wonder, can you still have joy when things don't go your way? What do you think? You think you can? Well, I think so too. And that's what our story is all about. Are you ready to hear it? Yes! Great, let me just put this story mail in the mailbox. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Habakkuk. Habakkuk was thinking about God and started praying to God. And when he talked to God, he said, even if I don't have any figs on my fig trees, I can have joy because God loves me. Then Habakkuk prayed to God and said, even if I don't have any grapes on my grapevines, I can have joy because God loves me. Then Habakkuk prayed to God and said, even if my garden doesn't grow any food, I can have joy because God loves me. Then Habakkuk prayed to God and said, even if I don't have any animals on my farm, I can have joy because God loves me. Habakkuk knew that God loved him all the time and that would never change. And that gave him joy all the time. We can have joy all the time because God loves us too. So let's think about it. If we don't get to have a cookie, does God still love us? Yes, so we can still have joy? Yes, we can still have joy. How about this one? If we really, really, really want a new toy at the store, but we can't have it, does God still love us? Yes, can we still have joy? Yes. Here's one more. If we don't get to do something we want to do, does God still love us? Yes. So can we still have joy? Yes. Habakkuk knew that God loved him, so he had joy all the time. We know that God loves us, so we can have joy all the time too. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. That's the truth, friends. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. We can have joy all the time, no matter what we have. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Habakkuk had joy all the time because he knew that God loved him. God loves us, so that means we can have joy all the time too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Got it? Got it! Good. I'm sad we can't have a pool party using a big pool, but me and my friends can still have fun splashing each other and dancing with our floats. I can still choose joy. See you next time. A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22.